today the range built-in function in Python 3. Let's start with a look at the docs. So the first thing you'll notice is there's two range functions here. And I think why they do that is because the stop, which is the first argument here, becomes the second argument here. So they're just trying to show you uh, how that argument changes based on how many arguments you are passing. So let's look at this in practice. I set up a simple for loop here, and we're going to run range up to a stop of 10. And what you'll notice is that will print out numbers 0 through 9 and will not include 10. We can explicitly add the 0 here, which was the default anyway. And we get that same amount of numbers. And you might imagine we could start at 3. And we're going to print out numbers 3 through 9. Now, there's also an optional step argument. And what that is, is it allows you to, to just increment differently. So we could increment by 2, for example. And you see that we have 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. We could increment by 3 and 3, 6, 9. So there you have it. The stop, the or the start rather, the stop and the step. I think the only other thing I want to highlight is that off by one errors are super common with the range. Um, because it is a little non-intuitive that you set your stopper as 10 and that only goes up to 9. So please keep an eye out for off by one errors. It's a common programming topic and just something to be aware of. Thanks for watching.